G'day guys, it is Taliban or flipping chips in Fallout 76 as I'm commonly known. I'm just making a video right now to just showcase my build. So it's a rifleman build. All I really use is rifles, whether it's plasma rifles, gorse rifles. I like the flamethrower too. It's uh, pretty fun. But I was just going to uh, showcase what perks I have and what mutations I have. Just to give you guys a general idea in case you're wondering, maybe you're a new player or whatnot, and you need a bit of advice if you're looking to use rifles, so I'm more than happy to show everyone what I've got. So in effects, adrenal reaction, pretty much bloodied except it's passive and it works on everything. Carnivore, well th this is a good one, this isn't really necessary, but just to eat meat with uh, double the benefits from it, you're not really going to get diseases from eating the meat, so I just run around eating raw meat, it's perfectly fine, it doesn't bother me. Eagle eyes, crit damage, it's going to nerf your strength of course, uh, extra perception, this is actually reading this wrong, it should be negative one strength and negative one intelligence because I am also running class free, which uh, reduces the negative effects of my mutations, but as we all know, Fallout isn't the most optimised game, so it will do this every now and then. Uh, speed Demon and Marsupial. Marsupial for that jump height, a little bit of extra carry weight. I am fine with negative intelligence. Speed Demon is not necessary either. It's just something I personally prefer because I move much faster. Though whilst moving, I will actually lose hunger and thirst. It'll uh, drain a lot quicker. Also, ups my reload speed. By how much? I'm not 100% sure. And perk wise, strength 3 for pack rat. Uh, this isn't necessary, it's just convenient. The junk is lighter, which is A OK -okay in my books. Perception 15, rifleman. Tank killer is a really nice one to have. I'm not too sure if it affects energy damage as much as it does ballistic damage, but because I use plasma rifles a lot, it does both, so I'm pretty happy with that. Expert rifleman, master rifleman, the usual. Concentrated fire is a really nice one because you can target the head in VATS or you can target other weak points if you want to cripple a limb or whatnot. It is up to you what you aim for, but really nice because each time you fire, it's going to get more and more accurate and you're going to do more and more damage. Endurance, I've got three endurance. This, this isn't necessary. Radical, I really like just because, well, I, I do run a lot of bloody equipment, so naturally I'm going to use the rads to stop myself from accidentally regaining that health when I pop a stim pack or whatnot. Because I am a bit of a glass cannon, so I usually do end up having to pop stim packs quite periodically, like get hit and pop three while panicking. It, it is a waste at times, but it is what it is chem resistant now if you like using the chems for buffs for extra damage this one's a really good one to have because you get complete immunity to chem addiction with a level 2 chem resistant tenderizer and charisma this is just beautiful because it's not only going to work for you it's going to work for everyone else as well yeah you, when you hit the target i'm not too sure if there's a refresh cooldown on it so for 10 seconds i'll receive seven percent more damage i don't know how long it takes to reapply that effect Never really done much research in it, but it is nice. Intelligence, I've got six intelligence. Nerd Rage, it's a beautiful perk for glass cannons. It's well below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regen, so three little boosts there. Batteries included, so I use energy weapons quite a lot. I used to use uh, the handmade rifles a heck of a lot, but I kind of got sick of using them. So batteries included reduces the weight of my energy weapon ammo and any plasma rifle user knows that plasma cartridges are one of the heaviest standard ammos you could bloody hold. It, it, it's terrific how heavy they are. So that's what I've got in intelligence. Agility covert up for 2.5 times sneak attack damage. Escape artist. This this goes in with a this build is kind of like a bloodied sneak and crit build hybrid it's pretty much the best of all three worlds put together and it is disgusting um so naturally chuck yourself in sneak and there's a good chance that you will be hidden again or it will go to caution which allows you to do more sneak attacks if the enemy does actually know you're there 
Gun Fu. Vat swaps targets on kill with a 10 to 20, then to 30% damage to your next three targets. Adrenaline. I'm fairly certain majority of people know what Adrenaline is, but if not, just read that real quick. It is a beautiful perk for ad control. Not so much for single target fighting. If you're just fighting a boss, so if it's Scorch Beast Queen, it's not going to proc that often unless you're specifically looking for the one or two ads that appear every now and then. Which, uh, I mean, that's, that's absolutely fine. But in the col uh, Colossal Problem, I think that's what it's called, the one with the Wendigo Colossus, is beautiful in there because there are Wendigos. There are so many Wendigos, it's not funny. So I run around with the Flamethrower, and that is just proccing out the Wazoo. Luck, bloody mess, 15% bonus damage, and enemies quite regularly explode when I kill them. It's, it's quite fun to watch. Better criticals, that's crits, now do 40% damage. Now, the reason why I've specifically got this is because two of my weapons have 50% fats critical damage. So, as far as I understand, it stacks properly, unlike other perks in the game. So, by all right, 15 and 40, 90%. So, that is quite a huge boost. Four leaf clover, each hit in vats has an excellent chance to refill your crit meter. That procs a hell of a lot. I'm, I'm going to be honest. That the amount of times now where I am just spamming the space bar button while shooting is ridiculous. And then I end up just leaping into the air or something after I've used all my AP up. Class Freak reduces the negative effects, as we said earlier on. If you're running all of these mutations, this is a good one to have just for that you know, little bit of extra strength. Because that is your carry weight. So three additional strength you will have will give you I think 15 more weight which is nice if you're running a backpack and you're running all or whatnot and then you've also got the extra 15 um, it, it all adds up it really does starch genes this is a must if you're running mutations you have to use this if you do not use this you will lose your mutations when you either go through one of those decontamination chambers or if you were to use right away and it won't just pick the top one, it'll be random, and it'll possibly do two at a time, yada yada, just use starch genes if you're using mutations. But this build is just silly, a plasma rifle does probably about 800 damage crits to the Scorch Beast Queen head, uh, when I'm in stealth of course, I'm not just standing up. Regularly if I was just standing up in like power armor, it probably do about 400, 480, which in my eyes is pretty decent for a plasma rifle. Um, I haven't tested my gauss rifle yet. I am presuming that it's going to do a silly amount of damage and I'm gonna feel really bad if I accidentally kill a thing too quick and no one gets loot, because that is never fun. Um, aside from that, this, this build right here, it will work with any rifles. You could change out batteries included. If you were using ballistic rifles like a handmade, you could take that three intelligence away if you wanted or you could maybe put a level three uh level three gunsmith in that way your guns break a bit slower but personally if if i was someone who was just wanting to use like a handmade or a combat rifle or even a shotgun i would take that out and maybe invest it into something else what that something else is is entirely up to your weapon preference realistically um Again, let me just go back. Those are the mutations that I run. Those are the perks that I run. So, to anyone looking for advice on an overall rifleman build that will work with any kind of rifle or shotgun, this is what I would advise to use. I've looked at plenty of people's builds, and there's a lot more things in it that are redundant for the purpose so you could argue that maybe my endurance is a bit low i'm going to die quickly any bloody build is going to die quickly that's the realistic truth it does not matter how much endurance you have as a bloody build because you're wanting to get to about 10 to 15 percent hp for maximum damage output at that point almost anything is going to kill you Unless you've got, you know, Nerd Rage, and then you maybe you're using a bit of Psycho, Psycho buff even. Um, once you've got all of those little buffs happening, things won't just one-shot you, which is what I find myself doing quite a lot lately. 
that's another thing too. You don't necessarily need higher endurance because you do have chems that you can utilize and that's why I've got chem resistant there. It will boost my health from around 260 up to around 310 which I am perfectly happy with 310 health in combat as a bloody build. It gives me just the right amount of time to pop a couple of stims so I don't just die. Either way, hopefully someone can make use of this build. I have had the game since it's released and I've been mucking around with different builds. I used to have a melee build that I'd use a two-handed build, but ultimately I like this rifle build. Um, if you were to use explosive weapons too, just a heads up, if you were to use explosive weapons, so what I had beforehand, I was using an explosive handmade and I had an explosive something else, can't remember what it was. Instead of the two in chem resistance, I was getting addicted to the chems quite a lot and I had to carry around a dictol. But instead of the two to chem resistant, I had those two points invested into intelligence. And I wasn't using batteries included, I was using the demolition expert for the 60% extra on top of the explosive base damage. Uh, it's not a huge increase unless you're peaking your damage. So, like, if your gun's up to about 600 damage per shot naturally then your explosive perk with this card will put it probably up to about 750 it's not huge but it is significant for crits that, that's the main thing the, the crit multiplier on top of the base damage it uh, it gets a bit silly but that's pretty much all I just wanted to show you guys uh, hopefully you're all having a good, ta uh, good day good night whatever it is for you and have fun and enjoy the game. It's flipping chips, signing off.